Hey everyone, it's Even Mika Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Silver. Last time, uh, we beat Whitney in this Golden Rod Gym here. Yes, for once, it's actually daytime in a video. In this video, we're going to head out north of Golden Rod City and uh, head towards catching our next Pokemon. But before you leave Golden Rod City, you're going you're to want to come into this house here and talk to this lady here. Oh, you're better than Whitney. Yeah, we know. Do you know about that moving tree? If you wear it with the squirt bottle, it attacks. But since you have some badges, you should be okay. You can't get this until you beat Whitney. So you have to beat Whitney first and then come in here and talk to the lady. And she'll give you a squirt bottle. La 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 la. Have plenty of water, my lovely. Alright, whatever. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and head out onto Route 35. There are a couple of new Pokemon that appear here, so we'll go over those real quick, guys. Out on this route, there are three new Pokemon you can find. The first one is Female Nidoran. It's pretty defensive. Um, it's honestly not a bad Pokemon. Poison Ground is a pretty good typing as well. Though it is weak to a couple of things, but at the same time, it also resists a fair few things as well. Like a fair few common types, like Rock and Grass, for example. Um, it's not too bad. It's defensive, so don't expect to get too much of like a bit of oomph out of it. But it's honestly a pretty good Pokemon, though. You do need a Moonstone to evolve it though, which we don't get to a little bit later on. Second one is the male Nidoran. This one's more offensive than defensive, so it's basically the total opposite to the female Nidoran. Uh, exactly the same, it's like it's... Aside from the fact it's offensive, it's just attacking. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, both male and female Nidorans have very, very good move pools, so... If you're looking for a bit of diversity in your team, then they're both a very good choice. It just comes down to whether you want something the more defensive or more offensive. Um, both of them need a new Moonstone though, so that's pretty much it for those Pokemon. And the last one, for as rare it is, uh, it's honestly not a very good Pokemon, it's Yanma. Um, this thing's bug flying, it doesn't even learn any bug type moves upon level up, it learns a couple of flying type moves. In this generation, it's honestly pretty trash. Um, so I have to say, give this thing a miss. It does get a, does get a little bit better in Generation 3, and then again in Generation 4 it gets way better when it's able to evolve into Yan Mega. But in Generation 2, this thing, it's, it's really not worth it. For its rarity, I have to say, I don't know what the whole Game Freak was thinking. Um, because this thing is it's just not very good at all. Uh, I definitely say pass on Yan Mega. Ah, uh, Yan Mai, rather. Alright, so I'm going to try and avoid as many trainers as I can. Uh, so I can come back here with my newly core Pokemon and then uh, level it up a little bit. So, But there are a couple of uh, fights that you have to do. Which I'm okay with, but yeah, we'll try and avoid as many as we can, and then off screen, after this video is over, I will train my Pokemon up on all the trainers that we've missed. You're not missing out on anything, it is just a bunch of trainer battles. Honestly, I find them annoying anyway, so... I'm sure many other people do as well, so... Alright, uh... Vulpix is pretty specially defensive, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Tackle instead of Ember. See what that does. Really should be using Quagsire for this fight, but whatever. And it's probably going to follow that up with a quick attack, so let's go ahead. Oh no, it didn't. Wow. So use quick attack first and then tail whip. Okay, whatever. That's weird. Oh, I couldn't win. Yeah. Alright, let's go around and do... No, who the hell... Oh. What are you spending this time? Uh, well, we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to like, in the video soon, we'll have to go over like, what she's actually bought us, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh wait, no, I f <sighs> You have to fight all three of these trainers. Or you could just leave the route and come back, which is probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, take that. Okay, for Ivan's got three Pokemon, he's starting out here with a Diglett. Uh, it's level 10, it's fairly- I can't- see, I don't understand this. Why are they so weak? We've just fought a gym with the Pokemon up to level 20, and then the trainers on the route following the gym are still weak as hell. I guess maybe it's because you can technically come here before you fight a third gym, which is probably why they're still kind of weak, which would make sense, but still, it's kind of weird. They shouldn't be this weak. Okay, level 14 is a little bit better. Diglett is a ground type, so he should... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god! Magnitude 7 has a power of 70. Uh, whatever number it is, you times it by 10 and that's its power. So effectively, Magnitude 10 has the same power of Earthquake, so try and watch out for that. Alright, level 21, not bad. 
And try and look quick attack. Yeah, we will learn that actually. Uh, it's slightly stronger than tackle. Uh, tackle's 35 power in this game, I think, and quick attack's 40. So plus, it's nice having a priority move. All right, Zubat's next. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch to the uh, Quack side for this. Quack side some experience points, I guess. Even though it did get most of the experience points from the fight against Whitney, whatever. And there we go! I give! Alright, I'll be back. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the route so we can skip those two trainers there. Because basically what that does is it resets where all the trainers are, as you can see. So we can go around this way now instead of having to fight those two guys there. Now this is tricky here because they're, all, they're both spinning, so you gotta try and like... Ah, shit! Behold my graceful ball dexterity, okay. I think this is the guy with the level 2 Voltorb, which is really, really stupid. Like, come on. He has four, they're all Voltorbs, like level 2, level 6, level 10, and level 14 from memory. It is so dumb. For God's sake. Three bad. Even, even if you only have two badges, by the time you get here, your Pokemon are probably in the high teens or even low 20s. Like, before we got to Whitney, my Pokemon were in the high teens, like level 18, level 19. Why is this happening? Uh, it's so stupid. And then, yeah, another Voltorb, yeah, whatever. Uh, And the thing is, like, it poses no challenge to us because Voltorb has, like, no defense stat. Yeah, it's fast. Like, this one probably will be faster than me, but... Like, just... Oh, no, we're still faster than it. Wow. Oh, wow, it actually survived. And it's using Screech for nothing. It failed. Haha. <laughs> Well, a pointless critical and I didn't even need it. Alright. Phew, that was a jolt, yeah. Alright, alright, we got out. Well, we got around that. That's nice. Alright, we're gonna go through here. Yeah, we have to fight one more trainer, but that's okay. I'll go anywhere if bug Pokemon appear there. Bucket okay, Johnny has one Pokemon, it'll be Venonats. Yeah, I pretty much know this game on the back of my hand. Alright, lucky for us, we have Qualarv at the front of the party, so we just go ahead and use Ember and kill this thing. Shouldn't survive. We are six levels higher than it, super effective. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. And Bugcatcherani is dead. I see you battle that way. Alright, let's go ahead and cut through this tree here. Actually, let me just check something. Hmm. Actually, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more Pokeballs. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Alright, we're back, guys. Um, I went ahead and uh, bought five extra Pokeballs and uh, five extra Great Balls. I'm pretty sure by now you've figured out what Pokemon I'm gonna be catching. I've never actually used it um, in any playthrough, but yes. It's a weird tree, you squirt bottle. The Wee Tree doesn't like the Squirt Bottle. The Wee Tree attacks. Yes, my dudes, this is Pseudo Wudo, a pure rock type Pokemon, and it's actually a very good Pokemon. It's very physically offensive, and it's got a great um, physical defense. It's HP, it's okay. Like, it's not fantastic, but it's good enough uh, just for a playthrough. Um, it learns some pretty, pretty good moves as well. It already comes with Rock Throw. Like, that's a pretty decent stab move to have this at this part of the game. Uh, and it learns Rock Slide very, very soon after catching it. So, it's a pretty good Pokemon. There's only one of them, so I recommend catching it at the very least. Yes, it's Sudowoodo. This is the Pokemon that I'm planning on catching. I probably should have saved before I came come here, because there is only one in the game. 
Uh, let's go ahead and use a, an Ember attack. Hope to God it doesn't burn it. <laughs> it, it mimics, mimics Ember. Yeah, it has Mimic. It's pretty cool. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch into Qua, uh, Quagsire here, mostly because Quagsire can deal some super effective damage and get it down, chip its HP down a lot faster than Quagsire can. I mean, uh, Quilava can, sorry. Um, and also because, like, I don't want Quilava to burn Sudowoodo, so that'd be a disaster if that happened. Yeah, Sudowoodo, uh, it's got a really good move pool when you first get it, so... And you can catch it on level 20, so it's like, you know, it's fantastic. <laughs> wow, okay. Use Ember against me. Oh! You gotta be kidding me! Wow, alright. Well, let's go ahead and try catch this. Let's see if the Pokeball works. I believe its catch rate is 45, so it's kind of annoying to catch, but... Yeah. Oh... Uh... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Three shakes. I was like, yes, we got it. We got it this time. No, but no, we we didn't we didn't have it. Flail. Ah, oh, Jesus. Sudowoodo, don't be a dick. Maybe I should start using some of my great balls. I don't know. I can't believe it's Ember burned me. That's bullshit. Uh, actually, I should probably heal because, um, Quilava is weak to rock throw. We don't want that being thrown at us, uh, literally. Alright, we resist that. Alright, I'm gonna start throwing some Great Balls at it, because it seems to me that Sudowoodo is being a bit of a dick. Alright. One. Wow. Okay. For whatever reason, the Pokeball had better result than that. Um, I wonder if I have a burn heal, actually. Let's see. Oh, I got a full heal. Go ahead and use that. That's nice. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't burn me again. Alright, nice. Okay. Now all I've got to worry about is running out of balls, which I shouldn't. I mean, I would think I have enough balls to catch this thing. Fuck. <sighs> I might try a headbutt. Um, it's not very effective, so it shouldn't kill it. Let's get its HP down a little bit. Alright, I think that's low enough. I'm scared I'll, I'll crit it and kill it if I try and lure it any further than that, so... It's in the red. Come on! Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a joke. Alright, let's try another Pokeball. It's really unfortunate I can't give it a status ailment. That'll make this much easier. Jesus Christ, you're not a legendary Pokemon suit of water, what the hell is this? <laughs> Lucky I went and bought some Pokeballs, otherwise I would have been very, very low on them right now. Alright, we've had three shakes three times now. Three is the lucky number. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, um... I'll go into Oddish first, actually. Do you know anything? Oh, you know Cut. But, no. Um. <sighs> wow, this is some kind of joke. Oh, thank God it missed. Wow, okay. Alright, come on, Sudowoodo. Jesus. Stop being a dick.
How many times? <laughs> Holy crap, this is some kind of... I'm surprised I didn't try using Ember on Oddish, actually. That was pretty silly, Sudowoodo. I swear, I'm gonna regret not saving. Um, Cause it means that I'll have to reset the game, go through all those trainer battles again, and then come back here. Uh, Qualava is not going to have a good time against uh, Rock Throw if it tries using that. I hope to God it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to try Great Ball. Please. Please. Catch this thing. Wow. Nope, it's going to try using Flail. Uh, okay. It's the most expensive Pokemon I've caught this early in the game. Hell, every time I think I've got it, it pops back out. Christ. Yeah! Finally on the final great ball that I had. Ah, at last. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water, so if it will disappear if it starts raining. Oh my god, that took way longer than it should have. Alright, well we have Suda Water now, guys. That was the third Pokemon that I wanted to catch. Let's go ahead and check it out. Not bad. Attack and defense are very good, it is kind of slow, it's got a decent special defense for a rock type. Um, but yeah, not bad. Alright, well, we're going to end the video there though guys, so next time on Pokemon Silver, we'll have a slightly stronger team because I'm going to go ahead and fight all those trainers now. Uh, and we're going to head out head out to Exceed City, alright? See you guys then.